I'm appalled, flabbergasted. You thought I wasn't in charge of the girls? Well, I am. And guess what? I'm back again. Back again. I put it with it. Try me. I come from blood. I think this is yours. I see. I I put it with it. Try me. I come from blood. Hey, Biafas. It's Ashley Bangs here, and I'm back with another one. So as you can see, I'm putting the Vaseline on the knots and the lace to protect it from getting dyed because, Lord, we do not have the time to clean off the lace. Lord. Please, just use it, but don't use a whole bunch. And that's how it ends up looking. Um, also, if you want to know how I dye my roots, just check in another video or I'll make a dedicated video to that. Okay, so now I have my container with sink hot water. Yes, not boiled, sink hot, because then nobody got time for that, okay? And I'm adding the light purple color to the water. And you see, I had to add a little bit more. Well, a lot of bit more, because it did not do what needed to be done. <laughs> so mix it up, baby, mix it up. Now I'm dipping it. I put the wig in a ponytail up to where I wanted it to go. Um, I wanted it to go past the roots and I just let it sit there for some time, you know, until I see like, hey, this is what I want and I took it out. And look at that. Ooh, you see that? I got some variations up in there. Ooh. So now I'm taking the dark purple dye and I'm mixing it with white conditioner just to lighten it up a bit because it, I just didn't want it that dark that soon. Okay. Watch my process. Watch my process, honey. And now I'm applying it with absolutely no method to the madness, okay? This wig had my head spinning around like a tornado, honey. There was no method to my madness. I was just going. Just blend it. That's it. That's it. Make sure it's all covered. You don't want no peekaboo blonde in there. Cover it. Cover it. And the main takeaway from this process is mix it up, blend it in, and trust the process, okay? Hmm. All right, and now I'm applying the darker purple towards the end, so it's kind of like an ombre, yeah. Now I'm putting some plastic wrap over it, basically to protect my layer, because the next layer, I'm gonna do something different. Pull up to the scene with my ceiling missing. Of course, I had to make more mixture of the dark purple and the white conditioner. Um, yeah, what I did that first time, I don't know what the heck I was doing then. I should have made a whole bunch of the mixtures then, but periodically through this video, that's what I did. This whole process was a rough one. <laughs> the music is so fitting. Mix it up, blend it in, and trust the process. Okay, hmm. And now I'm adding the green, baby, because you know that's my favorite color, honey. Yes, green, ooh. Lime green, lime green. And honestly, there was nothing wrong with the lime green, but I really wish that I would've just made it purple and black. And what I learned is that you really cannot blend lime green with purple because it gives you this nasty brown color. Uh, you know, like I said, there was no method to my madness, child. And basically, I just repeated the same steps for every level that I did, every layer, you know. And I just, you know, added purple or black or green towards the ends. I mean, look at it. Look at that purple blending into that black. That is a look, honey. My gosh. But yes, here you see me doing what? Blending it in, mixing it up, and trusting the process because whilst I was doing this, I honestly was like, what have I done? Especially with the lime green, and y'all know I love me some lime green, but I was just like, oh my gosh, how is this gonna turn out? But I was trusting the process, child. Trusting the process, okay? So let me know down below in the comments which colors y'all want me to try to put together. Okay, which colors y'all trying to see me playing? Let me know.
okay now y'all can see the lime green a little bit more like i like the way it's going but it's just hard to blend without getting that like brown color that i just don't like if it could have just went straight purple and then green boom no blend then yeah i think i might i might have did something there but it still turned out lovely okay and I'm adding some more plastic because, you know, we still got to protect them colors. But look at this. See, I'm adding the black right here. And I decided to do something different by adding the black first and then blending the purple. Now, maybe I could take that into account if I ever do like a purple and green again. But, oh my gosh, that purple and black. Oh, it got my heart. I really, I'm going to do a wig purple and black. Just dedicate it straight to that. Because... It needs some justice. It needs justice. We need justice. Justice. We need justice. We need. Okay, so now I'm just, you know, separating some things or whatever. I'm trying to be fancy, really. I forget who I saw doing this, but I saw some hairstylists doing this, and I was like, oh, I want to do this because, you know, I want to give some dimension. Okay, dimension. But yeah, I just repeated the same steps, covered it with plastic wrap, and then I let it sit overnight and washed it out and styled it and applied it to my head top. And the look was giving fab. Okay, check it out. Oh no, she better don't. Oh no, she better, no, she better, no, she better work. Yes, okay, I'm loving it, and I hope you are too. This journey was a rough one, but we got through. <laughs> Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and share it. Yes, stay tuned in because another one is coming. Thanks for playing in color with me today, and thanks for watching. I know she better munch. I know she better pick her and walk in down the street, sucking all that meat. Ow! I know she better, I know she better. I know.